Okay, we have another connection we need to make, and that is our RPM or trigger probe, so that we can know which cylinder, so the scope will know which cylinder is which. It's simple, it's just like our old timing light probes. To open it up, you simply push the little tab here until it opens up. And then we're going to take and clamp that around the number one coil wire. On the primary control side, so not the red one in this case, the cord's kind of nice, they give us all red from the power supply, so we want the control wire. We have to squeeze it down until it clicks in place. And then keep it up close to the coil. And then we have to actually hook this RPM probe up to the MODIS, and it's simple enough to just make sure you have it lined up properly. And the release tab is right here, so when you're ready to take it off, you just squeeze that right there. We're going to shove that on there until it clicks in place, holding on good and tight. Then we're going to... Okay, the next thing, now that we've got everything hooked up, we need to go down to lab scope, and we're going to simply use the thumb pad and go use the down arrow until we get to lab scope. And then we're going to go to the right, and then default's going to be up here at lab scope, but we're going to go down to ignition scope, and then over to parade. And that's what we're going to select to start with here. So we're going to push yes. And now we're in the, in the scope screen. What we need to do is go over a few things on the buttons here just to make sure everything's, uh, everybody's on the same page. So we're going to go down and start out here where it says CH1, channel 1. That's the lead we're actually hooked up to, right? We're going to push yes to that. And we're going to go over just to explain to you real quick what these do. Or this, the this check mark next to displayed means that it's turned on. That channel 1 is on. The check mark next to inverted means it is inverted, which is where it needs to be when you're on an ignition scope on the negative side of any ignition pattern. So if you're ever hooked up and the pattern looks like this, it'll be upside down as soon as we get out of here or not display at all for you. You can see it locked up. We want to make sure that we understand that if you're ever not getting the right pattern, come down here to look to make sure that the check mark is indeed there. Okay? So now that we're clear on that. Let's go over the rest of the buttons here. We're going to use the thumb pad and go up to the top and go over a couple of different things on the views here. If you want to display the engine RPM on the screen, we can do that simply by pressing yes and it displays the RPM for you. We push yes again to toggle that off and the digital KV values, leave it on. Leave the RPM. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave that RPM on and then the digital KV values will turn it off of the ignition scope and display the values digitally for you. Push yes again to turn it back off and now we're in the scope. So I'm going to push no, we'll leave that RPM on. The pause function here allows you to pause a recording so that you can go back and review the information. Are you doing? Okay. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do, we're in the scope, we're going to go down to the bottom menu bar here and over to the left we're going to select channel 1 just to kind of describe one thing that you need to make sure you check on and that's to make sure that this check mark is here where that says inverted. And what that does is turn the pattern around for you on your ignition pattern. If it's not showing you a pattern, that's one place to check to make sure that it's on. Okay, so now we're going to go back up to the top menu bar by simply using the thumb pad up and then we're going to push yes to view something else you can turn on if you like to look at the engine RPM when you have the RPM probe hooked up you can simply press yes and it'll display the engine RPM for you. I'm going to press no to get out of that and that's your pause feature to be able to pause a recording and go back and review it. And that's your cursors you can use to measure with. Um, that's your snapshot button there to allow you to uh, take a snapshot And then that's your uh, reset, since your resets min, max values and things like that. Your file icon actually allows you to save different screens. Press no. Go back over to print if you need to print. That's where you go to do it. And then here's your toolbox option. And this is where we need to stop and take a moment on and, and go over the setup on your ignition scope. We're going to press yes to that. And we're going to go down to ignition system because we have to tell it what we're working on. We're going to press yes to that. A standard ignition is a vehicle that has a, a distributor and an external coil. Waste spark 
is your wasted spark ignition systems. Direct is your coil on plug, which is what we're working on today, so we're going to select that. And others where you'll find information for setup on rotary engines and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and press yes to direct and keep that. Now we're not working on a four cylinder engine, so we need to change that. Use your thumb pad over to the right, press yes, and scroll down to eight cylinders. Press yes to that. And now we need to select our firing order. If we don't put the firing order in it, it's not going to it'll display properly, but you won't know what cylinder's what. So we're going to go down to the firing order for this vehicle, and that is 1372-6548. We're going to press yes to that. Now we basically have our ignition system set up so that we can go ahead and take a look at some ignition patterns. And what we want to do is while we're on that screen, I'm going to leave it just record through there. While we're on the screen, we want to reiterate to them, you can tell your RPM probe is hooked up because you've oh, okay. got the RPM here really and you is. can also see right. it over here. Okay. Go ahead. One of the other things in this box, we're also displaying engine RPM, so if we didn't already have it on, we can tell that our RPM or probe is hooked up and getting a good trigger because the RPM is being displayed properly. So many examples in on this one. So we're going to press no to that. We're finished with the setup of the scope. Now we're going to go down to the lower net menu bar, simply pushing down with my thumb pad. And we're going to go over to the right side of the screen here, by right, using the thumb pad to the right. We have to adjust something else, and this is also another crucial point if you're not getting a pattern displayed on the screen. As you can see, we don't have one. So we have to actually adjust our trigger level. Simply pressing yes to that allows us to move the triangle over on the left side of the screen. As you can see, it's starting to move. Once we get down into a range that the pattern is hitting, you start to see a pattern. I recommend to start out with is keeping that somewhere around 1 to 2,000 uh, kV as it's displayed down here. Push no to let go of that button now that we've got that trigger adjusted. And we're going to go down across the lower menu bar here to this other button. And as you notice too at the bottom menu bar, since we put the, wet, the uh, firing order in here, it displays that along the bottom of the screen. And above each of those cylinder numbers is that particular cylinder's firing event. So we're going to push yes to this little button here, because what that's going to do is allow us to move the ground point for that channel down to the bottom of the screen, or close to it, not, on, not enough to where it goes off like that. Using the thumb pad up or down allows you to adjust it. We're going to press no once we've got it in a position that we're, we're happy with. And then we're going to show you one other thing, and that is to adjust the KV level so that you can get a little more detail on the screen. We're going to drop it from 20 uh, down to, let's say, a 10 KV scale and see what it looks like. So that we can get a little better picture or view of what's going on. 